and you are the DJ Eva Ki Awan Arale Chief Adebayo Adelabu. Your welcome address. Fu Awan Arale to Anwoa. You rise. Let's have the second microphone, please. Thank you so much. Ni isaju kan a o gba un ti olujije egbe accord fun ibo gomina to mo won ki wa ku ikale I want to be joking, I like it. When we have a protocol, he and you are that guy, oh, and that guy, and she is not to be there. I understand our mother will soon be here. Former First Lady, Chief Mrs. Florence Ajimobi. I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, I I want a gun, I want a red one, I want a brow one. Mokini, Akua Sikoi, Akua Roju, Olu Hamomba to Dad, Dubai, Lawani, Agbara, Olong. Oshé, Omalo, Kubeni, Wani, Simo, Kwe, Agbara, Olong. Mokini, Bobo, I want a little one, I want a bini, Osoyi, Bobo, Akua Shelu, Irilama, Jembe, Agbara, Olong. Bilu se ma dana gwa mba kiri Ami Lagba rolong ama jore mbe Ami Mode ki E gwa mi Gwa mi nawa We give Thank you so much. We don't want Budubella. Please stop blowing Budubella here, please. Moki, our own governor, Governor Engineer Sheima Kide, the executive governor for your states, Moki Ekabo, sorry to you, Ulua Maro Alowo, Moki Bobo Awomo Egbe Accord, Egbe Mito, our leaders were Moki. Uh, Eshe, I say, one day we shall love Faja. The same goal, we go one day to give for your state good governance. All this you reach your now, ni alik ba debe. We yato wa ni ekbe kuliko Faja. You know, you know ni bini abi iwa janduku. 
Mokifun uh, peace at the unity service to the Indi Osoyi. Shubon, King Togbe microphone is here. More fair point attention and one organizer. See if you Before then, Moki, our chief host. Oloe, evangelist. Yinka, Ayin Fenle. Moki, Modeki Lechein, Fresh FM, and Brave FM. Blast FM. Blast FM. Boom. Ipari Bilibiten, Ko, Lati Jeki, Ijoba, Awarawa, Kofi, Dimule, New Relay Day, Eku Ishe, Olo Afishe, Lati Baroloro. Boki, Mayor Isaac Brown, uh, you are doing a wonderful job. Uh, please keep it up. We are proud to have you in your state. And the gang, uh, the number one journalist in your state, Chief Agbaki Demola Babalola, and uh, Pastor Bisi Oladele, and uh, Dari Adekombi Ekushe. But the key panelists were Prof from Leeds City, Boki, Dr. Bai. Busari, Suleiman, Lati Tribune, and she. What you move point attention was in a week. Whatever is worth doing at all is worth doing well. And agreement is an agreement. And I believe it play grand. And they asked each of the three political parties invited here to make available 300 members of their party each. That we are going to provide space in three sections. Accord, APC, and PDP. But to my surprise, I don't know what happened. We only have two parties here. And one third of the space is occupied by my party members. Accord. Why do many two thirds belong to the PDP? Please, this is clearly a PDP event. Yes. And this debate may not continue if adjustment correction is not made to this. I don't think I can make myself available in this kind of environment. It is not fair. I believe in fairness, equity, and justice. This is not fair. Thank you very much. Thank you. But PDP, Governor Equilo, is a day. Ejo, a magical party wo so that uh, the benefits interfere she lead me. Onsha wata wali no hold yini kani aje. Uh, stakeholders near your state. I want you to and all over. So please, uh, please, 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 logo please, 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 Uh, let me first of all uh, thank the organizers of uh, this uh, debate. Emoki, uh, brother, and your team uh, for putting this together. Emoki, our musketeers now. Uh, Demola, Oye uh, Amario, Ogwe Ojoye Nijeta. Well, Ubi Oye Sinaira, I know she enjoy. 
Moki, brother me, Oladele, ati Dare, Moki, Moki, Bubwe, Yawa, Nile, and everywhere at 13 Gowa. Moki, Bubwe, and leaders at the Helders Wa. From across the aisle, tomorrow one will be. Uh, the importance of Tafeshi is to deepen democracy. Me or your state. Moki, any accord party member now? Very important stakeholders, like, you know, in the project you are. Or your state project. Moki and Yititebi, PDP. Asheo. Mo Asheo, I want APC no one B. APC won't work. I would also contest here between me and the brother and me by you and the love of the contest here one by you. And I can give you the assurance that it is going to be a friendly contest. I'm going to keep it and she share day and night. That's it. She will be a job at you and you are Otumbo Fese, Ule. Emo Dupe, Lobo Yi. Ejo, Bobo, Awata Wambi, especially Eiti, Eje Omegwe PDP. Afeki Awara Le, ki wani benefit, Lori Gretawa Shembini. Just like uh, my brother Bayo said, uh, Family in Ibogua. Parties uh, will come and go. Government will come and go. Our state will remain. So we will not do anything to destroy ourselves or destroy our state. So we we'll ensure we pay uh, by a very full level playing field. Who we'll ensure you pay all the things that are first so they are based on issues and not personal attack. I give you the assurance you pay throughout this debate, you will not hear one word from me that will attack Bayo's personality. The organizers, the organizers, I make sure I want to need ferry lower, I want to need lower, they should get out of this place. It is official. The governor has spoken. The governor has spoken. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. The governor has spoken, and that is the law. Ejakin Urara Fesi. See. Observation Chief Adebayo Adelabu. Fresh FM officially, we did invite candidates of APC, Senator Falani, candidates of PDP, the incumbent governor, and of course, candidate of Accord, Chief Adebayo Adelabu, when Kilemesi. This morning, we were told by Distinguished Senator Teslim Folani, that Ashiwaju Akmebala Tinubu is coming to Ibadan to visit Pentecostal leaders. And that until he leaves, before he will join us. That is what we were told. But let me say this. Let me say this. Shari B. Olonjeman Shei Iyanwe. Edakayo, Edibo, 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 Edib
Gominant ever from Ferry, Connica Jade, hours of Gominant, and it's about to walk by the wall, Gobino to my microphone, and it's about to party wall, Tigon Martin Conway Jade, Tan Quetap Marche, Kinitan, everybody at Dio Dini, and his sorrow. But let me say this there's a way to providence you man she share. In 2019, inside Fresh FM Hall, we had gubernatorial debate. And do you know what? The two candidates then that appeared in that debate in 2019, I will make you take part in 2019. Fresh FM debate. More than some can join. Chivali Labu and be going on be. Moni, the next governor of your state, to read me the church, la ro. Mo let me so for me. But he bought a very di and don't win election. Eh? Mo lo wa no hall. Aye fele in 2019. Mo lo church la ro. Eh? Eh, me do so for me. He bought a very di. Ni match eleven. And it don't win eh. Oh wa no hall. We lawa lawa buy. He bought the Audi in 2023. Ni March 11. Ti eba ro banye. Ti eba believe we. Ani ani ti o jawo lubori. Ni March 11. Ni agba olon. Ti eba gba kwe ni e wa ni nu bi. E so kwe a mi. Allah unti soro. Enye enye unti soro. Enye yombo enobi. Let's get at it. And to flag up this debate is the number one journalist in the state who has a question for the two candidates. Temola Babalola, you have the microphone. Thank you very much, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. You are welcome to this debate. Jato was getting the best candidate to start the ship of your state in the next four years. On that note, I want to welcome the governor of your state, Anyashi Kende, and the candidate of PDP. The same way, I want to especially welcome Chief Adebayo Adelabu, candidate of the accord in your state. My question to the two of you has to do with the state of agriculture. Agriculture. Eto ishi agbe, ishi agbe, ni ikwile oyo. If you look at our society today, poverty is endemic everywhere. Our people are facing excruciating poverty across the length and breadth of your state. And by extension, Nigeria as a nation. The governor of your state, I want you to tell us this evening what your government has done in terms of deliverables in the area of agriculture. For instance, I remember in 2019, when you were campaigning to be governor of your state, you made mention of the fact that your state, under your leadership, will be able to export a number of agricultural products to uh, foreign lands. And uh, I understand too that uh, there was COVID-19, which equally affected the number of programs that your government had in stock for people of your state. But now now we stand this, sir. Your Excellency, would like to tell us that we... Are your state and term. One, two, go. As you are doing as you are doing it, 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 as you are Kabarasoro, Kasho Dodo, Kasho Mtoto Dara, 
ni gba gbogbo ni bi gbogbo fun gbe le oyo oni ra yi o lodun mi ko ni ra yi o ko ni ra yi o ni gba temi ko ni ra yi o emi ha so un to tu ni wa asi wa ju ni wa atawa to rile hello the question on agriculture has been asked the candidates have five minutes each to respond to Demola's question. We'll start with His Excellency, Governor Shei Makini. A round of applause for him, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, well, Oshie uh, Demola, uh, before 2019 election, I came up with uh, a document called the Roadmap for Accelerated Development of Oyo State, 2019 to 2023. In the document here, Pillars Mary, only Mary, on education, on health, expansion of our economy, and security. Expansion of our economy, Mosaikbe, we will do that through agribusiness and development of our infrastructure. Yes, uh, maize, only the most common uh, staple, to so then grow near Dawa. Yes, we had aspirations for maize revolution. But if we see Adejoba, the devil infrastructure, Tani, uh, Oslo, a whole lot of things down. Bogwala Baipe, food basket of Oyo State, Okiogun area. Out of the 28,000 square meters, uh, square kilometers of Oyo State, the, four, the 11 local governments in Baden, 7,800 square kilometers. So about over 21,000 square kilometers. Other zones lower. So we started with the infrastructure. The first contract, the government award, only contract to link Ibadan zone, which is the consumption center, and anything, Tebafeshi, we are. If I export new, you route it through here. The first contractor award is to link Ibadan zone to Okyogun zone through Monia Ijaye, Isaiyin Road. Abere Road Project here in November uh, 2019 and uh, I completed 65 kilometers. And I make bold to say, and to buy my any government near your state, in the history of your state, to bere, to pari, to more than low, and I have 65 kilometer length. Also, I might be dramatic, whatever, because five minutes, ni money, and more, I should be one time, uh, one time, me. So, let's see. Develop infrastructure further and let to link all the other zones together. So, I bear a project to also link or your zone, Maokyogun zone, through or your uh, Fashola to Isaiyin Road. Then, I to bear a lot to link Obomashio zone. And anyway, the linkage Lati or your see Isaiyin will pass through a major agribusiness hub, Ni Fashola where we uh, turn the uh, farm settlement to one better land. It's not a farm estate. And the major hydraulic structure to Walori on we have done it. It is done 100%.
and the road is uh, almost uh, getting to Fashola by now. At so I pay and let link of Boma Show Zone, Ma Okeogu Zone, Abere, Ona, Oboma Show, Fapote, to Isay. And one of the things here, I noticed the way, at the 65 kilometers, we're also pushing ourselves, we're pushing the envelope for development of your state. And Abere, Onanye, it is 76. 0.6 kilometers. All the hydraulic structures on that road, 100% done. And out of the 76.6 kilometers, over 50 kilometers of it have been tarred, and people are using it. 30 right seconds now. more. How many minutes more? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Okay. Oisada. Agbe Losi Bito Yekowa. Agbe Kuro Nibad Agbe Losi Shaki, because that is also a uh, very important to our agribusiness. Anta Abari maze revolution, as a cassava revolution. At the commission, a subital, a cassava to subital factory. First in Africa and the second in the world. A commission in the Okeogun zone. And own serve as a EBT off taker and also employing a lot of uh, our people. And we've also linked Okeoku Zone to Ibarapa Zone through Onatololati Igana, Ele Kokan, Titofide, Ibarapa, Lati Igana, De Ibora. All of this, Mtomi Nipe, the infrastructure deficits that meet Nile, we are overcoming those uh, deficits. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Sorry, there's one more. Just one second. Cherry Loriona. I did not get you. one more second, too. Uh, that's why. You can. Because, uh, you know me, I'm, I'm campaigning on record of achievement, meaning. But you ask him, I'm going to okay, I'm going to say bye. 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 Nori Jabadio. Nori Personally, he's achieved so much. Personally. Valoria Rojoba, me, I'll say Motishele, Motishele, Brent Sugar Factory, Orion, Natasha, and she, Lati, Isai, Lossi, Oboma, Sholowa. Without that road, only Lord, we Brent Sugar Factory, Sibe, and she, Modupel. Thank you so much. Shiba, Leba, Yoade, Labu, Accord, he responds. To Demala's question. Eba mi fun wala te wo. Thank you very much for that question, Demola. Um, Yoruba ni peti onje ba kulo ni nu ishe ishe buse. In fact, number one question here, Owa. Properly timed. You know, media do pay. I mommy, the executive governor mentioned we pay. Mama so pay. Mama she buy. Mama she buy. Ni odu me di say. I know so far pay. Eh she buy. Eh she buy. Abi. Eh jo. Lord do he? Eh so pay. Eh chile. Eh chile. Like bad or loro. In the next four years, mama so pay. Eh me not chile. But it's a lady, but it's a lady. Uh, I say, thank you very much, Ajo. Let me near you a to a bow security of lives and property and living in a clean and safe environment. Murupe, a to a share a bay on local. Oh, Kakati, all on the Fijin Kiwani, it will be your year. If you believe we pay mechanized agriculture and agro allied industry, is the key to unlock the potentials of your states. But then we pay Ishiagbe, Konshe, Allah, Rojani, Kon, Oya, Kole, Kale, Shede, Bite, Oma, Fun, Awan, Odo, Wa, Tio ni ise ni ise 
So he said, but tell our man she, according to our manifesto, opposite on a meta. A coco only arable family. He share of me. Tell on the fee ille. Think you are gonna be Mr. Governor she saw twenty-eight thousand four hundred square kilometers. Only the tolong fee think you are. To jack penino your state. Ali yo ikwile maru ni nwe. Like arable family, we are talking of livestock. Poultry, small and large animals. Then Eketa only agro allied industry. Ninu Bobo Unconti a joy mark at the work of time. Ninu Bobo Unconti and Nilo, Lat Jackie Ishagbe, Kowasi Bashe Fair. Oh, Kokondi Benny, Governor Rifasi, which is the access roads, access to the farmland. And in Lati Link, the city center. See consumption wa CBT atinse ise agbe sugbon leyin odo opolopo limitations and challenges lo wa fun ise agbe tani lati dojuko leyin access road and soro land clearing ani lati ran awon agbe wa lowo lati ma clear ile tori the kind of vegetation tani ni oyo state united nations and the world bank when the central bank, one man help states, Lati Shele, Tori, Ishel Lani, Tore Mangba, Obokupo, Ikeji Oni, Irrigation, Opolopo, Dam, at River Stani, and Lati Malo, for irrigation for a one, Okowa, then the issue of mechanized farming, the farm implements, Melo Lan Fun, and Wagbewa, from rich makers to planters to harvesters. Ishe agbe ti kuro ni ise a fowo ko ebe ebe me lo ni awon eyan le fowo ko then preservation ti abani surplus harvest ko gbodo ma baje si oro oko silos melo oni ijoba ti ko lati ma ko ere oko pamo igba ta ba ni low harvest and lati support with the silos uh, stock then the produce pricing marketing and export board ta ba fe ka won agba wa agun agbe wa ko si ba wa ni ori oko ni odun si odun ani lati ma make price costable we need to create a board that will see to the pricing marketing and export of agri produce then there must be credit facilities for our farmers ebi ru wi pe leyin ise oko ti aba je ton ale ta fun oda state iyelo ama serve as input into agro allied industries a le ma gbe cassava ka kan ma je lafun baki ati fufu lasan ani ma ti ma fi se o ton pe ni that is a product ti won ma lo ni gbogbo factory patapata Tiagara cassava, not man extracted or a catalation is lay. But look fruits, cashew, mango, orange, don't want your state. How many fruit juice manufacturing company or Lanilla your state? Don't they produce it? Fool, I want you to one. I'm big cocoa, she and she chocolate, me or your state. Ye, but book of the account, you don't hear. Then the governor spoke about farm settlements. We have plans to establish at least three farm settlements. Okoni Ibarapa, Okoni Ogoma Shaurire, Okoni Okeogun. To jai kwe, awan agbe, to wan be, ibe ni wan magbe, ademwa me kwe bonkan, awan ye deron, police station niyo, school niyo, healthcare facilities niyo, recreation and everything. So that, to manjila ron, okonwa she, to manjila son, okonoma she. And I believe that, is your own money can go to my big farm producer lati okay go kishi igbo igbeti shaki aguare what's he is saying we need to start thinking big loyal state kilo de tia leche rain within all your states to my link lati okay go the money here from money here to my export oh my bill or see but yeah papa let the second more Thank you very much. I think we should start thinking big. Ni or your state. Adam Lupe, but you share. 
ise oko ise malu ati agbo addressing ale unlock potentials of or your state thank you thank you very, thank you very much. much if you're just joining us it's fresh fm blast fm gubernatorial debates 2023 happening live here at mob 21 you are hearing us live loud and clear on all the three stations of pcos you are also hearing us live loud and clear gravity fm go Brave FM, Ogumo Show, Jams, Ibadan, and as well as Inspiration. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, all over the world, it is believed that uh, for people to have a uh, better life, uh, they need to have better education, good quality education, functional education. And so, my question on education, Oloi uh, Chief Baya Delabu, um, I want this question to be answered in English, please, because we are getting feedback from home that um, they want to hear them in English, too. Um, Chief Vaya uh, you are aspiring to govern your state, uh, 33, the biggest state in the entire southern Nigeria. Um, what is your plan for education in your state uh, regarding where it is at the moment, where you think it should be taken to in terms of function, your excellency, uh, where you met the state of education, and where you have been able to take it to in the next, in the next, I mean, in, in four years. So that's uh, what I would like to hear from you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, <coughs> Dari, uh, what we need, journalist. Thank you for that uh, question on education. Uh, if you have been opportuned to see. One our, any of our handbills stating our manifestos, you will find out that after security of lives and properties, education is the second on our manifesto. It shows the kind of importance we attach to excellent edu education delivery in all your states. Beyond that, I'm also a product of public schools. My primary school was IMG Primary School, Agodigate in Ibadan. My secondary school was Lagelu Grammar School, and I went to Obafemi Aula University for my first degree, and Uniland for my second degree. And with the level of, with the quality of education I received, I've worked across the country and all over the world. We have competed with those that received education from the western world we have managed them we have supervised them they've been our subordinates which says that the quality of education that we received during our time was excellent but today do we still have such in our public schools my answer is an emphatic no and i said that with all sense of responsibility to start with, three things responsible for excellent education sector. Number one is the state of infrastructure of the schools, the building infrastructures, the sports infrastructures. The second is the academic curriculum and the teaching equipment. How relevant are they to the modern day? And thirdly is the quality and adequacy of teaching personnel, the teachers. In all these three, I don't think we have performed above average in all your states. I'll say it. The primary schools, if you go there today, a lot of them, the buildings don't have roofs. The chairs and desks are not adequate and the environment is not friendly to learning. Of about 2,200 primary schools that we have in Oyo State and close to 700 secondary schools is about the highest that we have in the country. What have we made use of this? The secondary schools, the same thing. All of us here, I don't think up to 10% of us here will be proud to send their children to public schools. We all send our children to private schools and we pay heavily for it. 
what is the state of the academic curriculum and the teaching equipment in some schools there are no chalks to even write on the board in some schools they write exam questions on the board they can't even print it in some schools they cannot power their generators the chairs are not adequate and lastly on that how many teachers do we have in these schools there are shortage of teachers personnel all over primary school secondary school even tertiary institutions when i was appointed chairman of lagelu grammar school governor council we discovered a shortage of over 30 teachers almost eight subjects without teachers i personally funded the employment of close to 20 teachers for over three years what do we make of that i think we need to attack it from the point of view of infrastructure the point of view of the review of the academic curriculum to make it more relevant to the modern day world we have to also see to employ five teachers it's like scratching the surface five thousand teachers rather for almost three thousand schools that's an average of less than two teachers per school and i can assure you that if you go to any of these secondary schools you have nothing less than 15 20 teachers shortage we need to em em employ teachers in abundance and we need to train them and retrain them that's what i believe you can do about our education and lastly on that there is about the vocational and technical education which is dead in Oyo state today we don't have artisans again i'm into construction if you want to do tiling you want to do painting you want to do pop bricklayers we go to togo we go to kutono we go to ghana to go and bring personnel it was not like that before i believe we need to resuscitate our technical vocational education 30 That's seconds more thank you very much thank you so much his excellency governor shei makile Uh, th thank you. Um, well, I'll keep saying it. Uh, theory is different from practical. Yes, I was in the same position four years ago. But we had plans, we had aspirations. And we put them, we reduce them to black and white. We put them before the people. And you can use that as a marking scheme. I do have a reaction to a buyer's position on uh, uh, agri and agribusiness in Oyo State. The essence of this debate is to look at ideas and say, look, if his idea is better than ours, I will tell you that I will adopt it. That is... You see, it is very, very fundamental that we get the infrastructure right. Everything he mentioned, uh, wastages on the farm, not being able to have access uh, you know, uh, to the uh, farms, you cannot carry any of those things out without fixing the road network. So, what we've done to turn farm estate, uh, farm settlement to farm estate, I believe is the route to go. And your state, as of today, produces the highest volume of milk for farm milk in Nigeria. You can check out the fact. Now on education, I'll continue to harp on our records of achievement. One, when we came in, at the tertiary level, we met one and a half university. We met first technical university, one, and we met Lautech, which was on 50% by your state and 50% by Ocean State. As of today, 
tertiary level, we have three universities in our your state. We took Lautech back 100% for your state. And we've even established a campus in Isai to meet the aspirations of the people of Okeogun, axis of your state. And Emmanuel Alayade College of Education is now Emmanuel Alayade University of Education. And first technical university, we did what we are supposed to do, and they are still uh, moving on. Now, let's move to secondary education. I also, I attended Bishop Phillips Academy for my secondary education. And uh, you have Ubeck, you have Subeb. When we came in, we did a study to know the level of the deficits that we're faced with. Now, within these three and a half years, we have built 60 model schools, 700 classrooms, and over 26,000 desks and chairs within these three and a half years. And uh, if you well, if you want to know uh, where, I'll ask uh, Subeb. They will provide it for you. But let me say this. The deficit we're faced with is at least 46 billion naira. And don't forget, you said we employed 5,000 teachers. Yes, we did. Show me a government in your state history that has employed in one go 5,000 teachers. We did. We employed over 700 education officers. They are there. You see, when you're faced, when you're in a hole, the first thing you need to do is stop digging. We have stopped digging, and between Ubeck and Subev, what we spend on a yearly basis is around uh, 2.53 billion naira. Now, to cover an infrastructure deficit of 46 billion, it will take us 12 years if we go at that pace. But under Omitutun 2.0, I already listed out steps that will be taken so that we can have this within the shortest possible time. Now, let's go to primary uh, education. Yes, I agree with uh, Bayo that uh, the infrastructure uh, deficit is huge. And also, we haven't done so much to employ uh, primary school teachers. We will. But let me tell you where we are on that. If we cannot at least employ new teachers. We can motivate the ones that are there. So the teachers that are there won't obey uh, 30 seconds school, more. Yes. Won't obey what school, man. That's the matter matter because we pay their salaries as at when due. So they are motivated to continue working. And secondly, when we came in, we met their uh, leave allowances. Not paid since 2017. We paid 2017, we paid 2018, we paid 2019, 2020, 21, and, and on the 24th of this month, we will pay their leave allowance, leave bonus for 2022. That is the record of our achievement in education. Thank you so much. Ejo, eba mi fun wa wa meje jini a te wa to ni le. Ejo. Oyo le yon. Ipen le yon. A le yon. Ti wa ka jwe. A wa meje ji. Wa ka jwe. Eba mi fun wa ni a te wa ejo ejo. Bisi ola de le. Southwest Bureau Chief. Nations Newspapers.
Thank you very much. Um, I will have separate questions for each of the candidates, sir. Uh, the first will go to the executive governor, sir, Your Excellency. You've listed some of the road infrastructures that your administration has uh, uh, embarked on, many of which are already completed. Uh, two questions there, sir. Number one, we are seeing such roads, but we are not seeing anything similar at the local government level. Feeder roads that are mainly statutorily the job of local governments. Number two, some people have criticized your method of financing the road projects that you have listed. That the method you are using to finance those projects make the cost go much higher. And number three, sir, if you are re-elected, what level of infrastructural development should your state people expect again, having seen what you have done in the first time? And to our dear chief, sir, if you are elected the governor of your state, we have seen what Governor Mackinde has done. What will you do differently in the area of infrastructure? Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, Pastor B.C. Uh, Oladele. Uh, you're fair with your question today, because I used to think because you're uh, of the nation, you're always biased, but uh, now you're fair today. You mentioned feeder roads that are supposed to be... Uh, local government uh, uh, funded. Our approach in Oyo State is basically, look, we look at roads, whether federal, state, or local, it is our people that are applying those roads. There are no federal people here, and there are no local people. They're just Oyo State people. If a road is important to us, in the template for development of your state, we go after those roads, whether they are federal or state. And the example is the road from Oyo to Isenyi. It's a federal road. It took us a lot of time, you know, to get that approval. But we're the one, the state is the one fixing it right now. The template is first for accelerated development of your state. We must, as a matter of fact, link all our zones. There was an administration in this state who were doing a review and they said, look, we want to dualize all the entrances to major cities in your state. And I asked, what is the economic benefit of that? So for us, I said our infrastructure will haunt our economy. So what we, and of course uh, you have uh, limited resources available to government. So within the resources available to us and the template for development, the first order of business for us is we have to link all the zones. And we've invested a massive amount of money close to maybe almost uh, 70, 80 billion on this. Or you to, I have the data offered, I'm an engineer. Or you to, uh, uh, but to say, you money out to say, uh, 10 billion. Or you to say, about 9 billion. Now, he uh, said it to Obama, sure, at least 34 billion. Yes, major bridges across there. And from Igana all the way to Ibarakwa. And now Ibarakwa to Ido. Those are in the neighborhood of uh, 
12, 15 billion. So do the mathematics. So once our zones are connected, then we go to intra zonal linkages. We've started it. And again, they are haunting our economy. In Ibadan here, we've started the circular road. If you go to Lagos end, you will see it very close to Technical University. If you go to Ife end, you will see it after Badeku. That is the single most important and uh, most expensive project ever undertaken by any government in Oyo State. It's 110 kilometers dual carriage. It falls within one itigiba gate sorigi tori eni ekoko ge ni ekoko gbekuro now it is not as if the local government they are not doing their work at least i can list about four or five local government projects that are going on right now teba losi teba losi lati oremeji lati agugu losi oremeji Local government, Loshe Ibada, noticed it's been fixed and people are using it. Teba Lolatori Bridge or MAG through uh, TFD Airport, local government, Loshe Onara, they are fixing it. Teba Losori Bridge along Shogo, T. Ofi Losi Dagolu, local government, Loshe Dualization, Benimoti campaign, Lana, and the, the work is going on. Well, eh, it's a party, log babe, log babe. Project the local government in she near your state. If you want, we can provide a list for you. It is close to 15, 17 billion. Kosher Larry, local government loan she. Near the one police in B, police to philosophy, not west, launch now financing, financing because resources government you are limited. You cannot get this money in one go. So we say, look, any contractor to buy finance project here and we spread payments over 18 months. They are there. It is because they have trust in this administration. Time, Only one say. Time up, and, sir. Time okay, up. thank you. Time, time up. Time, time up. The next set of questions. Let me also say this. Let me also say this. Every candidate has opportunity if you are unable to complete any of your answers with this stipulated time, when next you have the microphone, you can fall back on it before you continue. We are going straight away to the scholars. And oh, Adela Abu, Eba before Alate Wall is next. Eshe, Mayor, it's like we have a. Abandoned timing. So I can take as much time as I want now. Because I go in to 10 minutes. Let <laughs> come Hey, stop one. Uh, I know he has immunity. But very soon I will also enjoy the immunity. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Uh, <clears throat> Pastor Ladele, the question you asked me was, what will I do differently when I become the governor? Not if I become the governor. When I become the governor, what will I do differently? <clears throat> but before I go to that question, I think I need to respond briefly to the claim by our dear governor, Jehima Kede, that no government has ever employed up to 5,000 teachers at a go. 
I don't agree. In 2014, Governor, late Governor Senator Isiak Abiola Jimobi employed 5,300 teachers. I say, Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Sit down, please. Can we have quietness, please? Ejo, Sherry, T, I want to pick the band sorrow. When the governor was providing a statistics, nobody shouted. Please let me enjoy the same silence. I envisaged this disturbance before. Please go ahead. When I referred to 5,300 teachers employed by late Governor Ajimobi, it was in 2014, which is higher than 5,000. And I believe... Thank you so much. Please, let, please, let's maintain the forum. Thank you, thank you. Will you come and take the mic, this man? Thank you, you thank this? you, thank Mayor, you. I may not continue with this interview. No, no, hold on, no with problem. This debate. Please, thank you so much. Can we maintain the quorum, please? Chibadeva Arelabu, you have the floor. The governor is on the seat. Please, let thank me you. enjoy my own time, please. Thank you. Let's be quiet. Thank you. Chibadeva Arelabu, please go ahead. Otito, Otito. Thank you. Shibaneba Adelabu, please proceed. Your time has been stopped. So please provide your answers. Esheo, Eshe Gonyo. Oloye Adelabu. Askoya Shabereni. Mayor, please. We have to provide a level play grant. Otito, Otito, Ejo. Thank you. Thank you. Chief. Education. Sincerely, we've been having friendly interactive session up here. The people down there should not disturb the peace that we are enjoying in this debate. It's all right. Please proceed. If you disagree with whatever I say, Governor Makinde will respond. The governor will respond to it. Thank you. Please. Please go ahead. Uh, something with the time. Samson Yakindele, the time begins now. And uh, secondly, in my response to what our governor said, you're an engineer, you have all the figures of it, you can roll out numbers for us. But I believe you should not be the only custodian of these figures. When we talk about figures, we talk about costs, we talk about expenditure from all your state resources. A lot of us here, the entire people of Oyo State, deserve a knowledge of your figures. In four years, the government has not published a single account of government activity, the revenue and expenditure. We are entitled to these figures too. You have increased revenue, you have taken loan, you have spent money. Oyo State people demand for probity transparency and accountability we must publish the government accounts it's three months to the end of administration we have not seen a single annual account from the government it is not fair enough then going to what i will do differently i will say that subsequent governors have been coming they've been doing their bits when we see a performing governor, we know. But my own impression 
with this administration is that the bit that the governor has been able to do and his team is not the best or your state can offer in every sector of government business and I will list just five number one I am not satisfied with the current state of security of your state people die every day we attach very very little value to lives we, they killed Ramon in the world nothing came out of it they killed an on-air personality in only on air state here nothing came out of it they killed people in Nigaga. nothing came out of it recently people died in a clash in a barapa nothing came out of it are we chickens we are not i believe the government should do more about security security rating is zero we have elevated ugly we have elevated uniganism the kind of innovation we give to thugs and unigans, we have never seen it in your state before. I believe the governor's body language can do better. And I was once chairman of your state security trust fund. I know what we did. If we want to be true to ourselves, security between 2011 and 2019, is it the same as we are having now? No! I know what we did. Number, number two, I'm not happy with the state of environmental sanitation in your state. Everywhere is dirty. Go to the roads. How much money does the government require to make, to give us a clean and safe environment? Go to OJ, Orita Mary, Mako, Ojo, Ring Road. You have refuse littering all our streets. And number three is education. We just spoke about education now. My deputy governor is from the academia. Professor Mrs. Ayofe Mibiodo Ayodele. She's an expert in education. She knows the problem with tertiary education, secondary and primary education, and lastly, technical and vocational education. We will do what we say. Rating of your state number 33 out of 36 states is not acceptable to a percent of states. It's not. 63 schools disqualified from writing Wahek is not acceptable to us. On agriculture, with the access road that the government is done, other things must be done concurrently. With the amount they have spent on, the, on agriculture today, food should be cheap. Let's, how much do they sell a Congo of Gari? A Congo of 30 seconds more. And lastly, industrialization. I want this government to also tell us three companies that they have brought to invest in Oyo State since they assumed their government in 2019. We used to know Leland. We used to know Nigeria Gas Company, Ferrodo, Isoglass, Triple SA2 Glass, Niger Match. Where are they today? Where is the Yanati Flowers? list of flowers no industry and we are talking about youth and employment in terms of industrialization our own government is going to perform better that's what i would say thank, thank you, very you so much, much. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen if you are just joining us it's still fresh fm blast fm gubernatorial debates at mob 21 this wonderful Sunday afternoon, 19. Thank you so much. Now listen, we are going to the academia. But before we do that, the candidates have seven minutes each to respond to what they have heard from each other based on the three questions that the gang have asked. I'm going to start with Chief Adebayo Adelabu. What you have heard from all the questions that were asked, the answers given by the governor, your take and your final take. Seven minutes and the governor will do the same. Your reactions. Thank you very much. Uh, once again, I thank the audience. 
Let's continue in this peaceful manner and we are going to enjoy ourselves. Just like the governor said, this session is for exchange of ideas. Nobody, nobody is a monopoly of knowledge. We can always learn to ourselves. From ourselves. What I will say, number one, about the governor's response to local government administration. Sincerely, let's forget the issue of I'm contesting for governorship against the incumbent. The level of redundancy, the level of idleness, and the level of salary wastage that we have witnessed under local government administration under this government is not comparable to any other previous governments. The local government administration have been rendered idle, useless, and non-productive. And we pay salaries to Norge, the National Union of Local Government Employees. They go to work every day. What do they do? We know that local government functions fall under what we call the residual legislative list. Park management, market management, refuse management, and traditional uh, chiefs and chief fancy maintenance. Why has this government refused to empower the local government? And by refusing to empower the local government, we are denying the grassroots people the benefit of democracy, the dividends of democracy. But local government is the closest to the people at the grassroots. You have mentioned money here is saying road, or you are saying road, or go more is saying road. These are inter intercities. Let us go to our interiors. I would like the governor to let tell us how many kilometers of road have they constructed in the interiors, even the farmlands. These are the jobs of local government administration. But you have actually refused to give them funds. Why will we have this kind of idle and non-functioning local government administration in all your states? The people at the grassroots are not feeling the impacts of governance. I must tell you that's what happened. Number one. Number two is the level of state of our healthcare system. The hospitals. The hospitals are non functional. We talked about primary health care. Thank you. Let's keep quiet. Please. Primary health care, PHCs. We spoke about having a PHC per ward. How many has this government constructed in four years? We need to know. What happened to our secondary healthcare system? The general hospital in Adioyo, Yemetu, the one Adioyo Ring Road, Jericho Nursing Home. In all the local government, what is the state of these general hospitals? I'm sure none of us is proud to go to any of these general public hospitals to receive treatment. We all go to private hospitals and we pay through our nose. It should not be like that. The number three that I want to mention is the issue of youth unemployment. I believe the government has not done enough about providing job for our youth. There are two ways to this. The government can provide direct jobs in civil service apart from the 5,000 teachers that this government exhibits on a daily basis. How many people have they employed in government business? In four years, we need this day. Poor man, you are a rich man before you became governor. According to the records, our governor was worth 48 billion naira before he became governor. I wanted him to tell us what is his stake 
in Oyo State. It's pure water factory. It should put it to us. Or where he has a block making factory. Or a bakery. Why has the governor not invested in Oyo State? I believe if you cannot invest your personal money in Oyo State, investors will never agree with you. They will ask you, if you have such opportunity in your state, why haven't taken the opportunity? Ileni, Atinko, Esho, Losote. Those are my points. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Ibadebayo Adelabu. Thank you, thank you. Let me say this, let me say this. Enye, Yonwa, Shari, Ti, Awale, Joaba, Tin, Soro. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, from what has been said by Oloe Adelabu, from the question from the gang, His Excellency, the Governor of the State, Governor Shei Makinde, has seven minutes to respond. Well, uh, as you, as some of the things the uh, brother I may mention, uh, uh, bio, I used to talk like this also before I got into government. I remember also that uh, throughout my life, this is my first public service job. I've survived. I've done my own thing. Lies in no ijoba. So, so I am used to being frontal with uh, facts and figures uh, on education. If you claim, I will fact check it. If you claim that Governor Ajimobi, late Governor Ajimobi, employed 5,300, okay, that's 300 more than Yetawa employed. Abibeni, Abibeko. Adupelawa. But you and I, you're saying here, we pay plus the 5,300 to employ. Plus the 5,000 tower employee. Ah, she solved problem here. Yeah. So our problem is deeper than rhetorics. You ask me, how many people have we employed in government business? Well, I can say they took what we give so you have to pace yourself we don't want to employ people that at the end of the month you will say bear with us when we started the gsm date we said to the people that on the podium at liberty i said there'll be a gsm date 25th of every month one year long, they go and for six months. Well, we've done it for 44 months right now. And what that has done is to put into our your state economy every four weeks, or say, Mary, Mary, only about 12 to 13 billion naira, low one economy or your state, just by paying the salaries. Now, uh, of course uh, uh, for me this debate is about saying look this is what we are going what me I'm going to do this is what I've done and this is what we're going to do but now that he asked the question we pay boya investment in what's your your state hospital I'm sure Hey, Joe, this is an important. Now they are working hand in hand with other security agencies across your state. Within 100 days in office, 
We your state, hello, we data here, or your state, crime has been on the downward trend near your state. Everybody, to us all your state. 30 seconds more. Whoa, 30 seconds Lord. more. Now, by your very pay, I need now. You believe government should put their money into businesses, whereas I believe government should provide an enabling environment for businesses Thank to you, thrive sir. in our state. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you. I want to see Odo, I want to call and see. Dr. Professor Ojedoku, you have the floor. Thank you, Ejo Ejekadake. Prof. Yes, thank you very much. Um, reading through one of the. I want to make a team, but I want to share it. I Oh, yeah. So, reading through one of the. I want to make a team, top of the. Uh, reading through one of the documents. Reading through one of the documents uh, that the governor has produced. Thank you. Let's maintain some level of silence. Prof. It says, enforce all laws that will lead to sustainable development in Oyo State. And so the question first to the governor is the implication of enforcement of laws. How does it affect infrastructures, for instance, like roads? We know most of our roads in Oyo State, particularly Badon, have been expanded. But we know that many of these roads that are three lanes. Prof, are you having an issue with the microphone? Our engineers, Ewo, Sherry, Hello? Are you alright, sir? Yes. Yes, they can hear you. So I started by saying that in one of the documents of the Oyo State Governor, the statement was made enforce all laws that will lead to sustainable development. I'm going to tackle that in your next administration if you should get in. How would you tackle that without destroying laws to do with roads, uh, enforcing laws to do with street trading? Because the key is enforce all laws. No democracy can be built without the rule of law. So what are you going to do? And Hello. 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 Iberati Prop Tiwanberi. I shall end up. Iberati Prof Tiwanberi. You pay. I won't feel to one nick below you. To nick on she by Lou B. I send Loju Popo. We pay EBT OJ four lanes, OTT two lanes. If it was two lanes, OD one lane, it did that. If we pay, I want in your two one part, one team D, I want John or Cocon Cocon. Oh, Findeva, today, can you go in the ocean? Let him make sure, pay, I want fin still by when you lie ye, let it do you popo and mushe. It can in here, prof, right? Uh huh. It better in on me, one brave law, or loye, Adilabu, or loye Adilabu. More pain of bond, Dada. You have the floor, five minutes. Five minutes. Enforcement of laws. Thank you. Preponderance of traders plus the last four years we need to do. But before then, we have 
we should have effective and active traffic controllers. In Lagos, it's not as if there were no street hawkers. They have street hawkers, but they are properly managed by the officers employed by the government. A situation where a three-lane road will be reduced to one lane is not acceptable. We pass through Makola, we pass through Challenge, we pass through Oritameri and Mako every day. That situation is not acceptable. Our traffic officers must do their job making sure that while the traders are doing their trading, we still provide ample space for the vehicular movement. That is what we believe we should do. But beyond that, there are a number of simple traffic techniques, traffic management techniques, which we should adopt in Oyo State that will ease the level of traffic queues that we have. And I believe if we do this, there will be less gridlock in traffic management system. That's what we are going to do. Thank you very much. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of your State, has the floor. Well, uh, again, this is an administration that came in to this is an administration that came into uh, government with only God the Father and no God Father. So because no God Father except God the Father I need as a panda to anyone we take decisions based on science on data and on logic. Rule of law, as asked by uh, Prof. You see, we've demonstrated fidelity to the people of your state. Challenge used to be really chaotic. And then the previous administration they put a scout camp in there and I declare to the people of Oyo State that Mio, I will not chase the people out of the street unless we have an alternative for them. I'm happy Bayo has adopted that now. So we are on the same page as far as that is concerned. So this is a government with human face and if you go to challenge today, the private uh, filling station to Wambe had to give way for a park. If it uh, overflow, uh, our Taja, if it's one little law, and there's a little bit of order, Nibensi, we have other junctions, the Afeshi junction improvement, for including uh, gates. Now, where I'm going with the rule of law, sir, only pay. IGR or your state, when we came in, was we met about 1.8, 1.9 billion monthly. We've expanded that to about 3.5 billion monthly, averagely. But we did that without putting extra burden on the people of Oyo State. Yes. Rule of law one in Untaso. There must be order. But you do this Pelu human face. We will let the people every night, my security agents one be. I meet people driving against traffic. 
and I stop in front of them and I, I will tell my security people just tell them to turn back and go and uh, do what is uh, right one of the ways TFLA implement rule of law on the compliance and enforcement who will cost you money because you need security people for uh, enforcement it will cost you money so for us we will put the necessary resources to ensure you pay the enforcement the likelihood that people will want to comply will go up that is where we will put uh, uh, a lot of uh, emphasis and a lot of money into it the same thing Pelu, uh, this issue I want to dial a see an administration near your state or your state or see you know dial see media and tell it. but an administration came and said look Emma Agbele you see media we will carry them now we have to we've just and finally finally uh emi uh bio uh we're brothers i've been in this uh, situation before as we go as we go we will evolve and Tolombako, we pay by your ashi, the governor of your state. Aje. Sherry, Igbatimo, Loka Kirini, 2015. Wani Kidro, the 2019. So, election year is uh, three weeks time. Me and uh, Bayo, two election about the law, because I can see his passion also for your state. We will sit down and plot a part. Thank you so much. So, be there way on your state. Uh, on your state will become great. Fungo <laughs> Oh, God. If we lay on you one baby, the next and the final set of questions will come from Dr. Busari and Pastor Olani Waiju. Thank you, thank you, Chief Adelabu and uh, Governor Makinde. Our last two panelists will ask that question simultaneously and you will reply to two of them and I'll take over Dr. Busaki Engineer Aki let the microphone be given to them immediately Ejo 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 Thank you. Your Excellency, the Governor of your state, in one of your remarks, you said there's a difference between theory and practical. There's a difference between theory and practical. And practical. Okay. Now, you've been Governor of your state by the grace of God for almost Can we be years. quiet, please? Can we be quiet, please? Thank you. You've been Governor of your state to the glory of God for almost four years. In and out of office, where do you see all your state in 2027? Hmm. The same question goes to Tivadi. And now, especially most of the leaders of our court, Kindly help us tell your members to please sit. Ejoku, any Olori Egbe PDP, Eba Asafan, when you want Joku, I want to have you.
Wait, Pastor Larry, why you? Chief Bayo the Labu. As a man who aspires to lead or your state. What kind of state do you envision? What kind of or your state do you see as somebody who aspires to lead the state? The secondly, currently the high GR of your state is about 30. It's about 30 percent. It's about 30 percent of the budget for last year at least. 30 percent of the budget for last year. IGR of your state was about 30 percent of the budget for last year. What plans do you have to show up the IGR of the state? Your Excellency, sir. When you are coming in 2019, you had a vision for the state. What percentage of that vision will you say that have been renovated right now? They are above 250. So, tell about the local government, Ejekama, is all over the place. Now, on uh, expansion of our economy, we said under Omitutu Akpakini that we are going to expand our economy through agribusiness and development of infrastructure. Now, 2023 to 2027, we are adding two sub-pillars. Expansion of our economy will also take in tourism and it will also take in because and all these other places apart from, from providing the infrastructure needed to move uh, uh, farm produce and all of that tourism will also benefit from the work that we've done and on the expansion of our economy solid minerals development will also come in because uh, your state is blessed with solid minerals all those axes they are sitting on very uh, huge amount of lithium and lithium is the new gold in the world we're in. So I will see an oil state where the dependence on federal allocation could need you 25% law, where our IGR will have increased to between 7 and 10 billion on a monthly basis. One more minute. And I believe well, in three weeks' time, uh, uh, in three weeks' time. And I will also say, for Bayo and myself, he told you, pay 2015, he came to my house to give me support. Nibati Moon contest under SDP. So, to replace a year at buy your own contest, it is your own headache. By the time the election, by Lotan, Emi Atibayo, we will sit down again and and let him move on your state forward is what we are concerned about. Me, whether Moshe second time or second time now, hand in it. Don't know about a single time. You got triple call to lay. That is the uh, exact. Uh, Thank you so much. Wow. Eshe, Eshe, Eshe. Share to you, pay. I want to be the Mejeji. Share to you, pay. I'm a rabbi, I'm a Mejeji. F1 made the latter wow, a job. I'm a rabbi, the one. The final. I don't go. I think we are talking about the CNBCB. Motu Bobo Bobo Tia Mo Panelist Bati Berry.
mo ti gbo gbo daun ti awon mejeji ti da wa lohun thank you let's have a seat please please let's have a seat e se gan e je ka e je ka joko ibere ti emi ni fun eyin mejeji ogbon saju lo je ka lo sugbon ati wo asiko o ti mo ti gbo leni mo ro po ti se ara alu lore so ibere ti emi o bere ti mo ti gbe wa tele to je mewa e yo ko pere ni won bere i will start with chief adebayo adelabu when clemens chief adebayo adelabu thank you thank you please chief adebayo adelabu when clemens mo fe ki evita ara pele oyo ti won gbo wa lowo lowo bayi audible presidency ati awon ilegbuma sofun agbagba ni ojo saturday a mo bi ti yo wo si oleya de labu an gbo orisirisi mo de fe ke je ka mo lowo lowo bayi you were once in apc and now you are in accord ahead of march 11 chief ali labu is there any chance is there any possibility of you working with your former party apc will you at any point in time consider stepping down or working in alliance with your former party come march 11 awu yewo yen lo nigboro nbe ka fcc chief adebayo adelabu is a call party open to alliance stepping down ahead of march 11 uh, thank you um mayor I I don't think this question is necessary because a call party is a fully autonomous political party. Osi or no, the accord to you must step down from any party. Oh, what are you need, Jay? Are you need to remove? We have come a long way. Elo sigboro, elo bere egbeti aye nfe accord ni. Ejo ejo. Ti abawa ri egbe kankan. Egbe kankan. Ti eru ti nba. Ti won fe wa teri ba. We want first step down for our our ma tell what go on. To go under no circumstance will me Adebayo, Abdulwahid, Adekola, Adelabu step down for any gubernatorial candidates. Oshese, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Efu Adelabu ni ate what here. Gomino ipele oyo Ibere ti mo fa bere lowo yin nigbati e wa fun town hall ni fresh fm oro meji jade e de yan na e die mo fa bere lowo yin leni Tertiary institutions in your state. At the town hall, you said you are open to reviewing the use of consultants in tertiary institutions. 
Mr. Governor, will you reiterate before the people of Oyo State? Will you come out clean before the people of Oyo State? If elected as their governor in March 11, will you, in those two areas you mentioned at the time, review of consultancy usage, intelligence usage, and you also promise to review the role of PMS. I want clarification. I want you to be honest. A lot of people who have issues, Mr. Governor, are you open? Will you confirm before the people of your state that these two areas that have been raised, you are open to review moving forward if elected? You have the floor. Uh, well, uh, thank you, uh, Mayor. Um, as uh, an administrator, and also as somebody to Jaipe Oni Babo in our law, I always say to people, we uh, only alone Nika Nico near Bawa. Only a long or bani can look at the decision to bati take. That is it. Only a long or bani can look button to matter. A migaga be gomina ini pileo yo. I may not be right all the time. I'm most of everybody. Don't expect that I'll be right 100% of the time. But one thing I promise the people of Oyo State, I will be honest with them all the time. So those things that I mentioned at the town hall meeting, I review consultants. They should bring out data, bring out hard facts, not uh, because Sherry governance is uh, complex. It's complex. Ibi to ko juse ni kan e yi lo ko se lo mi e lo mi ti won ba gbe nkan wa si waju yin e ni ma yi pe won ni oturio motive but true facts true data true logic ale taku all of those things and i make bold to say pe ni or your state to be election launch everybody in law campaign kakiri. I've been running elections here last 2007. Momo kato jumiri. The first time to mola see meeting in Oshelu, enter the law. If it's not in Tirawati, Mofi, or Moape, Moripe, if you want to be. Moape, the law, I say, the law, I say, only if you want to Ipe se mi mi omu kan kan wa lati lady won e mi omu kan kan wa mi omo But in our your state today at the move koja level yen and we hope to keep improving on that e se o mo dupe lowo yen Gomina e se e se duro e se duro Thank you thank you In 5 minutes this debate will be over the governor, by privilege, will always have the last say. It is time for the two guests to ask each other just one question. The governor will ask Chivade Labu. Chivade Labu will answer. Then Chivade Labu will ask the governor. And Chief Ade Labu will take turns. Gomino, Ibere Kantie, Ebafebe, Lobo, Chief Ade Labu. Uh, okay. She, he buried the only mouse as never can bury. Lord, when he, I be yet on the answer. See. Ah. 
I will say that this is a brotherly contest and I wish I wish him well Ni March 11 but I will prevail So Ibere Gomino go si question kakafu bayo but you can ask your own question Share to the brotherly conversation about Chimbi. I'm a expenditure in your salary in your projects at your tech balabuja so that Tolombari, I will not marry why that's a year for the other Mary. Then all your states over our team for function that that our questions will be buried. He buried her on a new key or a very bad bio. Uh, first, thank you so much. I can't, and uh, uh, records of expenditure. Uh, you have uh, the auditor general, oh, the re signature governor, Nibe. So, Mo. Bon, we want to go. I want to share you. Me, oh, my boy, there's a law to say, uh, a copy must be given to anybody. But if you need a copy, they will send a copy to you. Now, most of the other questions that you lump together, it be stadium. One equal meet standard. Well, the same NFA logo international match was the bear Tawo under street light. The same NFA loan fee of your state CBD one for African Cup of Nations. And the street lights when we came in. You as a chairman, security trust fund, as in a solar C ring road, we had to remove all of them to repay, they were not bright enough. We have put the infrastructure in place for 225 kilometers of light up, it was zero. Now you have the infrastructure sustainability and how to uh, ensure that uh, availability is more than 80 90 percent that we're working on but you cannot work on that if the infrastructure does not exist in the first instance now now please i want everyone to listen very carefully to this ibadan only capital of your state and Baoni Ibadan Shengborosi. The only reason Ibadan Shengborosi only because of its nodality. It's, it grew out of being a nodal city. So from that nodality, Ntale She only can make experience and win. Toban pass through be from everywhere. Kosibo Shembo Late Kotofelo see not. Sometimes we fell in certain part of uh, Southwest in B without passing through Ibadan. Both our transportation uh, system over oh, chaotic. In me, when I was growing up, Teba Lossi, Ni Dubembi, Ogumpa, any garage in Be, fenced, Ewonu Beloni. I want to buy the experience there. Once of you, I want to garage in Eloni. Even as far back as late 70s, early 80s. Now all of that we destroyed. And for us to have advantage, Lori, our uh, uh, transport sector, we have to put the investment in. Now, Teba Lossi Ojo. Let's say chaos there she won in Ubenya, but in that terminal, 
Oh, ni what he she bubu an kan ti won se at least at the achieve un kankan we been able to move the people inside this uh, uh, bus terminals now organization and now we, we move forward on that see a way yan te ba ni ki won ni change of uh, attitude that it change is always very difficult there lot of one need time lot to adapt and that is the period i want see the bottom line is that they are also making money for the government our park management uh, system to see odun bi pe brother me because i want him to pe won be the question yeah because he said he was going to turn it into uh, an hospital or something like that emi na de won wi pe pelu ba o se campaign na mo ri pe won fe je chairman disciplinary committee park management system ni but since the won o wa time la need we will get the benefit for all of this not even just in terms of our vehicles to wole to njade but in terms of organization teba lo si amsterdam si by fly i've seen you with that uh, bag rini eko so near your state nta ona fe ni pe teba tin pass through ele wo no bi kan to je pe ele wo cinema ele sele ele sun sibi en to ba fe fe ya wo gan o le fe ya wo ni bi ki won ju e se mo dupo Ladies and gentlemen, and your arrival here, your and your one and your car today, tough fun and one major G. Didn't you tell what to run it? Eh, fun one year tell what to run it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Doctor Nika Ayefele, eh, doctor, eh, doctor, eh, ni tobe eh, to Nika le Fresh FM. Doctor Nika Ayefele. Won fe ba wa soro ese ejo ejo ka joko ejo 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 ese 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 thank you thank you please sit down ejo ko ejo ko ese o ela koko na ma dupe lowo gbogbo eyin te npo wa nle gbogbo eyin eyan ipinle oyo gbogbo eyin ara ipinle oyo te npo wa nle ati eyin le ise radio bi mejeje to darapo mo fresh fm back on kele Well, uh, thank you very much. Let us move up a little way. Sherry, yeah, yeah, ni moche o. Pelu in come mi ya o. Sherry, si ati governor ati ba yon ati fi mi she yeah yeah. So one ni awon la awon ba awon she ma tu la ni ara awon. So now move. sole kan to bi opolopo ninu niyan lojo wonu ero waja sugbon gege bi meyo se so opolopo lo nbere pe lagbaja nko ta medu nko ko senita pe o awon ewure olohun bagun tan se agun tan lo lomo ya o Ishewa la nshi. Abe egbo jingu APC. 
Egbojingo APC, PDP, Accord, ati AMPP, Gbojingo Party la gbe lori Fresh FM. Eni ba wa so pe ti party kan la nse Oku, Oku Olorun. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hey. ladies and gentlemen, let's make way. National anthem. National anthem, please.